The definition of superphone for us, the difference between a superphone and smartphone, it's just, you know, the evolution of the platform is such that the openness coupled with these marketplaces and these app stores, um, that makes it really easy for people to download uh, third-party content, an ecosystem by which third-party developers can participate in the ecosystem. The gigahertz processors, the more memory, the, you know, the gigabyte uh, storage, these are all things that uh, did exist two years ago. Um, so you, we just thought that the industry needed another term to refer to this, to these innovations. Um, and again, this is like as powerful as your laptop was four years ago. So I think, you know, you know if, uh, if, if, if anything, you're carrying these around in your pocket. They're with you all the time. They're now always on. And that's all new. Um, so we, we wanted to refer to it by, by something. And, and we think Superphone is the right way to refer to it. The bar is raising. You saw it starting at the G1 and going from the MyTouch all the way up, right? So, you know, these super phones are getting more and more sophisticated as far as the hardware goes and the processing power goes, which means we can take advantage of that and create more and more sophisticated software. So you'll see other products coming out. Um, we'll be very careful about which products we put through this program because we want to make sure that those products highlight the, um, the future of, of, of mobile platforms. Um, everybody knows about Moore's Law, right? Um, you know, things are going to get faster and faster over time. Uh, today's super phone is tomorrow's smartphone as far as software goes. So we'll, uh, we'll continue to basically push the envelope and raise the bar and make sure that we only put um, uh, devices in this program that uh, meet or exceed that bar.